Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are talking about Azure Data Factory. Today, we will take a scenario wherein we want to copy one or more file from a source storage account to the destination storage account. And after copying the file, we want to remove the file from the source location. And that too will do with the Azure Data Factory. For the demonstration, I'm going to use this Data Factory instance, which is there on my screen right now. To launch the Data Factory instance, you can simply click here on this option and that will launch our Data Factory instance on another tab, which will look like this. And for the demonstration, I'll be creating a new pipeline. So to create a new pipeline, click here on this pencil icon, which is author icon. And you can see that I have the number of pipelines already available along with some of the data set, which we have created in our previous demonstration. Now to create a new pipeline, you click here on this pipeline section and you should be able to create a new pipeline by clicking here on the new pipeline button. Now, as we are talking about copying a file from source location to the destination location and so i'm going to use the copy activity so the copy activity is available inside the move and transform option so let's drag a copy activity to the pipeline canvas now as soon as you drag the copy activity to the canvas you have to specify the configuration details for your pipeline for an example what is your what is the name of your pipe activity which you can provide by default name is copy data one next you have to provide the source data set detail which means the where is your source data which you would like to copy is it at the storage account or is in the sql server or cosmos db or any other location as we are talking about copying the file from one storage account to another storage account so the source data set is going to be of type the storage account now now for the demonstration i have two storage account this is a storage account one which we have in which we have an input container in this container we have multiple file which is of type different uh, png and csv multiple different type of files are available now there is a storage account which is of destination storage account we are, here we have a output container created and that is where we want to move the file from input to output and while moving the file we want to make sure that half once the copy activity completes this file gets deleted now as we now aware about the source and the destination data type which is a block storage we have to provide the details so we already have so we have to provide the detail as in data set. So you can specify the data set if you have the existing data set already configured. As in our case, we have already configured the data set in our previous example. So I can use that data set or I can create a new data set. For an example, for the demonstration, I'll be creating a new data set. So let's click on the block storage as in data set. As soon as you click here, you can see that there are number of options available which you can choose to specify the type of data which you your copy data activity should deal with it next you have to specify the file format type in our demonstration in our storage account we have a uh, multiple type of files like csv png or it could be any other time if you don't want to restrict a uh, file copy actions to a specific file type hence we have to specify the file format as in binary because we don't want to specify only specific type like xml csv or json so click on create ok i'll choose the binary option and then you have to specify the link services as we know now that the link services are the option which you can choose which will help you to connect to that source or the target data type so in this case, we are saying that a link service, which is of type block storage, we want to create. So there is a link service already created, which we have used in our previous demonstration. If you want more, more know more about this link service, you can click on this edit configuration that will give an option that this is a link service, which is of type Azure block storage. It's trying to authenticate using the account key. With this is storage account. This is the key details. And again, I can test the connection, whether the connection is still live or not. 
you can see that the connection is still alive i have not made any modifications so i'm going to click on cancel next i can click on this browse option so what it will do is it will use this link service and try to connect to the storage account which is being specified on the link service so click on the browse option that has launched the input and output container which are the container is available within this block container which is input storage account now within this i am going to specify the container name input because that is where we have all our files and i'm not going to select any specific file because our objective is to select all the files and move all the files so here you have to just provide uh, as soon as you click on ok it has added the name of the container no directories no files which means that it will copy everything right click on ok and that will give you an option to uh, set your source similarly you can set the destination so for the to set the destination i'm going to use the existing data set which is the ds data set the procedure of creating the destination is same because both the source and destination in this demonstration are of same type both of them are storage accounts so i don't want to waste time on creating another destination which is of the same type now as our objective is just not not only to copy the file from source to destination but we also want to delete the file from the source location once the activity or the copy activity is completed now how do we how are we going to delete that file is you simply click on this option which is a checkbox so that will give you that will make sure that once the copy activity is completed that will delete the files from the source location that is it now you can click here on this validate button so that will validate the pipeline and the activities which are been configured inside the pipeline so let me just click on the validate option so you can see that my pipeline has been successfully validated there are no error founds i have not given any name to the pipeline so you can specify the name to the pipeline uh, if you want to for the demonstration i'm going to keep it as is now option to run the pipeline you can click here on the debug option you can run the pipeline and if i click right now which means that i'm trying to run the pipeline without basically without publishing the changes to my idf but if you want to run it afterwards then you can simply click on publish that will publish the change and then afterwards it will run uh, run your pipeline then you would again have an option to run the pipeline so let me just simply publish the changes you as soon as you click on the publish the changes it shows the number of changes it is supposed to run so click on publish that will publish the changes and the pipeline so the pipeline is successfully completed completed now again i can click on the same pipeline or if it is closed right now let's say you can double click open that and this pipeline will open and you can simply click on debug and that will run the pipeline and you will have an output tab where you will see the output instance run with this output run id and that run id will have a detail about the run activity which is being performed using this activity which is mentioned in the pipeline the activity is successfully completed if you would like to see the result like always you can use this lens icon to see the details of the actions which is being performed on the by the copy activity now to look at the destination i'll refresh my storage account output container at the destination you and you, as expected you we have all our files copied successfully at the destination location now this was our source location but remember that objective of this demonstration was to make sure that the source location files are deleted successfully so let me just refresh it and see if that files are deleted successfully or not so if i refresh it you can see that all the items are gone which means that our data factory pipeline has copied not only copied the file but it has also removed the file from the source location and that too is possible just with this configuration option so let me just go back again at the source and that is the option which is making the job done for us without writing the code isn't this interesting so that's it in this video 
I hope you have found this useful and you would be able to use this in your configuration. Thanks for watching it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification for the videos which I will be uploading in future. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.